Hey guys, Gabriel Wright here, representing the movement towards improvement over here in Hawaii with my friend and mentor, Kelvin Mia here. Oh, what about me? And uh, my friend Blair, <laughs> not my mentor. You, you usually like introduce a guy who's right, whose arm is, you know, on the okay. shoulder. Okay, all right, well, Blair and then my mentor, Kelvin. <laughs> hey, yeah. um, Kelvin is more important. You guys just want to say thanks for helping Blair get out here to Hawaii. Um, and just like we promised, we're going to record a lesson with Blair and Kelvin and see what they're working on, see if we can help Blair's game. So <laughs> Reverse pivot. Okay. You want to feel like you're doing this okay. at impact. I mean, you, you got to go to the extreme. Okay. Your slide is very well ingrained. Oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, that's still too far to the left for my liking. Okay. Can you try to hit one? You're going to do... What, what feels like staying on your right, as much as you're on your right at the top, what, what your, Just stay there. your percentage or feel, feel like? like it. Yeah, what, what, what percentage do you think you're on your right side at the I, top? I'd probably like 70. Okay, so could you be 70 at impact? Okay. And be flat-footed on your right foot? Okay. I mean, you know, you could have the, have the heel in the, in the air a little bit, but, but, but more feel, or less keep like way? the weight is very balanced. Okay. Or 70, 30 on the right side, actually. Okay. When you were younger, when you were playing good, could you fade it? When you, when yeah, you yeah, I worked ball both okay. ways. Okay, try to hit a fade while you're doing your keeping your weight back okay. on the right side. That'll I've, be easier. I've been preferring to hit fades more anyway. So it's... okay, good, good. That's better. Is this thing it's coming? Sometimes he overdraws the upper. Yeah, I overdraw it a lot. Oh, that was it. Because I think this is the audio right here. You guys didn't see that? Uh -uh. So where's the... Damn. Where's... Dude, you just missed the best one ever, dude. It was the pure shot I ever in my life. <laughs> it was it. I went like... Oh, man. Uh, All right. Oh, cut, please. That backswing's looking a lot better. Yeah, I'd like to see it. It feels like I might be able to pull it off. The backswing's a lot better. And, it, and, it, and it, let, me see you, let me see you practice the downswing. Well, all right, so. Yeah, and then when you do that, straight your leg over. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Okay, so we're going to try a drill. Uh, right heel off the ground the uh -huh. whole time. Oh, and the right hurt? knee is going to stay, yeah, right, that right, away. Like that? So okay. now. When you take your swing, you can still shift into your right side, okay, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. But then on the downside, we're going to stay here. Keep this from so keep that going out. in. Yeah, you're just going to hit it off your back foot with your right knee staying back as long as possible. Oh. Yeah. And still trying to hit your little fade, right? Okay. Like that? That was better. Yeah, that felt good. Actually hit two. Where you don't even use it at all. Just stay like this. Just the stay whole like time. that? Yep. Ah. Oh, Jesus. That's it. Right, you almost look it. like for a little while. Guys, do one more, buddy. Giggles and shits. Ah, well, that wasn't that bad, actually. Look at that. Oh. See the right knees kind of huge, go more out than in. Huge yeah. marching move now, and then now you you're squeezing together. Uh -huh. the, the the thighs are actually squeezing together. The and, left leg looks straighter too, doesn't? Oh it? yeah, it's way more behind too. Yeah. So is. the hip is now that's right on our target, 85. Yeah. See, so you my hands are still in front of the ball. That's good. Yeah. So it's, that doesn't necessarily make you hit it fat, right? So that already starts looking like baseball. Well, yeah. it's just so much smoother through the ball. Well, because it's not sliding and stalling and yeah. jumping and posting and whatever, right? You want to see it in fast motion, player? Yeah, sure. I like you. So that's the the feel and the take. I just got. Should I just practice hitting soft for like ten shots soft, three shots hard, or something? Or? Yeah, you, or you know, you could you can start going down to like two and two, you know. But yeah, start okay. off doing a lot of drills. Yeah, and then eventually we'll just. Be hitting it yeah but i mean you're an athlete you could 
probably do this in minutes. It's in there. I mean, yeah, I, I could do there. it if I yeah. swing soft enough. I mean, at just some point, wait it out. doing like a, we could go back and hit some driver for him, you know, just to see if, if he's got the, if it's in the DNA, it'll come out, right? Something of his baseball. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I can handle hitting balls, you know, swinging soft like that and hopefully ingrain it, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh -oh. Band-Aid fell off. I, guess I, don't need I mean, that's the kind of thing, though, with, with instruction uh -huh. is we're so conditioned to expect to fail so often that it would, in our brains, we go, well, we're supposed to be bad for like at least a month or yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, then, and so you set up the expectation that low yeah. that then there's never going to be improvement for a long time, but you go, oh, stick to the process. Keep yeah, going. yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then that's what gets you stuck after a while. Absolutely, you're, yeah. You're and like, then, oh. you know, eight months later, you're still like, oh, I'm still going yeah, to stick and, the and then, then you got eight months of work. Yeah. And then you're going, I can't bail out now on this thing. I mean, yeah. I better keep it going through to the end, right? Yeah, I, I, I would say that I consistently got, I went from really bad from the start to like, to be like really keep going bad. And then I got like bad slash okay, where I could shoot, maybe shoot one under. Yeah. And then more bad and then finally I was like, fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> Never talk to the guy again. And then now I'm, I, I'm getting back to shooting in the 60s again. I'm like, That's right. 60s is and we're, whereas what, what we're doing all the time, right Gabe, is like, we're making changes in a half hour and an hour that, that could last a lifetime of improvement. It's, yeah. I mean, not selling, but really that's what, what it is. Yeah. So, I'll come closer you see the mic But we were talking to this one kid, uh, and he was playing better without seeing his coaches for six or eight months. Really? Yeah. And he was still paying them because they were under contract, and he had to pay them a certain percentage. No right? way. And, and then he's like, well, oh I haven't seen my coach in six months. This is the best I've ever been playing. <laughs> did, he, right. he, did he go back to him, or did he done with no, him? No, of course not. Yeah. Already looking better though. Yeah, that one right there was was really felt really good. It's starting to feel more natural, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, because see you're a thoroughbred, man. You you know this feeling. You know what this is like. It's, it's there, you know. Dang. Like I'd like to think that I'm fully rotating, right? Like yeah. and, and it's better on your back, right? I don't know if you felt when when you go like this sometimes, <laughs> yeah. I mean you get that little I get a little lower twinge. back twin sometimes I'm just like Ugh, I'm just it just makes me tired okay so here's all the good stuff after we've done some drills and that looks good right yeah I like that okay and then coming down and get it. okay so you can see the, the right knee is a little bit less kicked in uh -huh. The clubs, like, this is, like, absolutely perfect right where you want to be. The elbow might even be in a better place. Okay. Right? It's, it's a little more in front of you now. Yeah. Because your, 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 your tailbone and your, your lower body is actually coming back. Your left hip's coming back away from the target. So that actually allows the hands to catch up, elbow get more in front. So this is what you were looking for probably early on. Okay. And then, and then look at the path. Now oh, it's wow. Left. And that's how you can And the club the face stays dead square the entire time. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. So you and the hands are going more left and then back, right? Yeah. That's... Following through more low and around as people like to look at it. But I mean it's done all through this awesome rotation that you Yeah, that's awesome. You got now. Look at the back the back swing with the right back leg. Swing, and, yeah. It's yeah, so now it's not all stagnant, right? It's not stagnant. The, the, the angle, again, is closer to vertical, which is what we want to okay. see. And it's already rotating right and now. And it's super yeah, rotated. Holy Jesus. Blair got a good rotation to begin with. Oh, yeah. Going. Yeah, that's right. So that's why it looks even better. Oh, fuck. I should have never brought him here. Oh man, Gabe, I might yeah. be, I might get really good. It takes some money been, I've actually been game. beating him the last three months. <laughs> I've actually had a chance to beat the guy. That's funny. I was like, yeah, Norby, you know what, Blair? Those changes are going to pan out you know, sooner or later. Just keep working on it. <laughs> Just keep like, doing what they're going to do. Yeah, I was right. wondering why Gabe was, you know, silent through the whole thing. Yeah. I Movement like it, to man. improvement, man. Yeah, that's that's right. it. Ooh, look at that. Well, I mean, Calvin Blair saw me, like, slowly get better with my balls right Yeah, now. yeah. Sam, too. 
Yeah, Gabe's ball striking has been super good. I mean, but like, I mean, I couldn't, like, I look at all swings, like, our first swings here in Hawaii, and it was like, I just, I don't know, I mean, this is might be subjective, but, like, I just didn't have anywhere to go but up, honestly. <laughs> that, well, that's true, but you could, you could also be more confused, you know? You get into yeah. the wrong stuff, you're going to be more lost, and who knows what they'll tell you. Okay, guys, thanks for watching that video. <laughs> <laughs> our uh, batteries died yesterday with the mic, so our intros and outros are, you know, becoming today. So, Kelvin, can you explain really quick, you know, what Blair was kind of doing and then what you guys worked on? Uh, Blair had a bit of the right pelvic tilt and slide and getting too far ahead and, uh, and still trying to drive hold with his hands. And that kind of created the path going a little too far to the right and, and then hitting bigger hooks and hitting it off the heel and all of that. So. And then what did you do to help him with that or, you know, minimize the damage? Minimize the damage. Well, we worked a lot on kind of like modified marching move and that kind of thing and keeping the, the right foot, right heel off the ground and trying to make sure that he didn't get too far ahead and just keeping him more centered, more rotated and centered. Blair, what did that feel like for you and what did you see change-wise? Uh, camera or ball flight or contact or whatever? It was a drastic change on camera. And then uh, especially today, a day after, you know, doing a little a couple like the the hiking things that you guys are talking about, the little drills and stuff, it's its crazy. It feels more uh, like an athletic swing, a lot more turny and a, and a lot more together. Like it's not one thing stalls, the other thing goes, it's everything goes in motion and it's fully rotated and impact. It's, it looks really good so far. Yeah, completely different. I mean, yeah. what Blair was doing where his coach wanted him to stay more centered on the backswing and then go more left on the downswing. Yeah. We actually got Blair going more right on the backswing and then staying a little further back feel-wise on the downswing so he can actually rotate better and not get as far as head. Now shifting, we start seeing the club actually start exiting more left. Yeah, yeah, exactly. right, oh, like literally almost like right away, yeah. immediately from one from one thing. It's crazy how that, that happens, so. You know, that's why we fly out here to Hawaii and get some personal instruction from, you know, someone who's been doing this for many years and can, you know, pick up on the little things like that and make changes really quick. So I, that's why I always suggest you guys to, you know, get a good amount of information and see somebody because that is the most preferable. Absolutely. So. No sense spinning your wheels. <laughs> yeah, I've spun my wheels many years and what's helped me the most is the clarity and direction. Like I actually, when I left Hawaii the first time I was here, I didn't email Kelvin for three plus months because I had enough clarity and direction on what I needed to do that I didn't necessarily need his guidance as much every week. So yeah, that's a good thing. And another thing, guys, I want to say thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity to come out to Hawaii. I know it's going to change my game drastically and I really do appreciate everyone who donated. It means a lot to me. So thanks again, you guys. Please subscribe. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram. You know the drill. Links all down below. Check out the membership site. Thanks for your support. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Oh, yeah. Right. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And either Kelvin, myself, or Gabe will try to answer everything we can, everything you ask.